Thanks a lot, actually, to all of you for coming in. Uh, today is about fundraising for Green Shoots Foundation. And we've got this project in Northwest Cambodia, where we help uh, mostly kids of very impoverished backgrounds to grow vegetables and be able to look after themselves and their families. We do that, we're working with schools. We started with a pilot project with 50 kids, and now, basically, uh, they've got rice, uh, vegetables uh, to eat every day. And the next thing, we're going to leverage that up uh, with another 42 schools, so that will involve up to 13,000 kids. So for us, it's a big thing, and um, obviously this is the reason why we have this event. So all your fees are basically going in, in there. And I want to say a big thank you also to Matty Parks, thank Peter, you Jean-François, and Star James for facilitating everything and, and, and allowing us to do that all cost-free and it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I also would like to thank Rolf for his uh, unconditional support for Green Shoes Foundation and for bringing over Stefan safe in one piece. In one piece, yes. <laughs> and then last but not least, thank you Stefan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you have to know that Stefan actually volunteered to do this for free. Thank you. Also, besides doing this, uh, what Stefan has been fantastic for this sport is to be a fantastic ambassador, be it at the WMC, uh, the IFMA, or even as, a, as a, a fighter, truly a fighter, to get our sport accepted as an Olympic sport, an Olympic discipline. So this is, uh, this is a big thing. We wish you good luck in this endeavor and thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. As you know, giving back is a big part of Muay Thai. We have a thing in Muay Thai. We don't look down on anyone except when we have their back on their feet. So um, we have many social campaigns. and We are very happy that uh, uh, we have a campaign, Sport is Your Gang, which we do together with Peace and Sport. Uh, the president is the uh, Prince of Monaco. I just come from Monaco. We had a very big event there last night, which was very successful. And we have been awarded uh, this year to 2014 Bird Sport Award for our campaign. So when I've been asked to come here today, certainly it's an honor for me to be here. I may be not be 100% fit, but by the end I hope to be. And Sunday, I'm sure some of you are at midnight too, so we can <laughs> level each other out. So what we're going to do is, we train for about two hours max. Uh, we're going to go through the different aspects of Muay Thai, from the stances, to the punching, to the exit kicking, a little bit of traveling. Uh, if you still fit on the end, you can do some paperwork and maybe you can finish off with some traditional more time with some more around if you still have, uh, if you still want to be with them. Okay? So for now, just use the whole blade, as I've been told, it's free, so we can use everything. Spread out, and we just had a warm up for 10 minutes. It's more like me warming up than you warming up. So let's just warm up a little. That will be the perfect stand. We bounce back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Then I say up, up, back and forward, back and forward, up. Make sure one hand goes forward, the other hand goes back.
now, should we laugh? I will make sure that I'm not there when he wants to go kick as hard as he wants. See my footprint? That is the ABC of my time. I don't care how hard he kicks because I'm not there. Okay, the kicks, think. Now the exercise I do this is you always try to stay on my center line. The fastest line between two points is a straight line. So we try to keep straight. It doesn't matter if you throw the first knee. The most important is that you have solid base. There is no MMA in Muay Thai. Yes, there is. We just don't like to fight on the ground. We try to finish the fight in the air. Okay? We try to finish the fight on the way down. But when we're down, there is still more to run. Okay? It's the arm of the battlefield. Okay? There is no time for long decisions. Okay? Punch. Yes! Okay? Muay Thai, punch. We step opposite. Okay? Because kicking the groin and things like this is illegal in the sport. In Muay Thai, it's perfectly illegal. Okay, anything goes in Muay Thai. I don't want to fight strength against strength. I want to use the strength of my opponent. Push.
I've been doing it for 25 years and I'm still learning. So it's a never ending story. Okay, so back, it was fun. It was for a good course. Okay, uh, sorry, there's not much in here today. But I think you'll have enough techniques. Remember, the ones are useful to you. Throw the other ones away. I try to come more regularly in the future. Okay, whenever I pass this way, I really come in because I like what Shofang is doing. It's fantastic. Okay, it's in our region, so maybe we're more happy about it. Okay, because we have very successful projects in Thailand ourselves. We have one project uh, which we are doing in uh, conjunction with the Privy Council of His Majesty the King. We got over 2,000 kids in this project. So when you ever come to Thailand, we have to show it to you. We have under different highway bridges in Bangkok, the city of Bangkok, the king has free land, and it's in the slum districts. And we try to get the kids to come to us and uh, get them into our group. Most of them are homeless or come from very uh, sad families, drugs, HIV or whatever. So we try to get these kids back in school and uh, we, don't, we don't teach them how to fight. Okay, we don't want them to be gladiators because we don't like the system in Thailand. So we show them the old Muay Thai, we show them how to play the instruments, we show them how to do demonstrations. Now if they go back to school and get into our program, then we take them to a different level in our course. And then eventually, if they really get advanced, we take them with us to different events where they can play the music or can make demonstrations. So we have we doing this for over since 1997. So we are already now in the second generation. Kids which we took from the street are now actually finished on university or whatever. So they're coming back now to help us as we're getting older and you know have less energy.